I check Walmart Pokemon card restocks all the time, and today I hit the mother load of all Pokemon card restocks. And this restock has almost everything. Obsidian Flame, Scarlet and Violet, Lost Origin, Silver Tempest, Crown Zenith, Collection Boxes, and much, much more. But out of everything here, we have our eyes fixed on this, the Galarpal Mini Tents. Supposedly, these have evolving skies, but not these Mini Tents, because these say C23. These Mini Tents, however, have the code C22, and supposedly, these are the ones with evolving skies, and I'm picking up the entire display. This is Bizarre Bro. I don't know. I don't know why I do this to myself. Yeah, I got the whole display, all ten of these mini tens. So my brother tipped me off about these. Shout out to Brett. He said if these, uh, I think they're the Galar Pals. Uh, these mini tens, if you see them in store and they have the code C22 on the bottom, these should have evolving skies. They had another uh, display there of these exact same ones, and that said C23, and I believe those have Lost Origin and Astral Radiance, but. These specific ones, if they say C22, they should have an Evolving Skies pack in them. The other pack, I'm not sure, but I'm going to open a mini 10 here. But uh, yeah, 10 of these, I'm going to have, what, 2, 4, 6, 8, yeah, 20 packs total. Should be 10 of each. Again, I don't know what I'm getting myself into. Uh, I figured buying the whole display would give uh, kind of a, a hit rate probability, you know? Just like what comes in, like a whole sealed, uh, obviously it wasn't sealed, but comes in a whole display of these like there was none taken they're all c22 that i checked uh god god <laughs> god help me but i'm gonna open one of these tins and uh, i'll show you guys the pack selection and then i'm gonna get the rest broken down and then uh you know we're gonna start ripping open some packs hopefully evolving skies so stick around all right moment all right moment of truth come on little wiggle wiggle there we go okay yep so he was right c22 mini tins uh galar pal tins evolving skies and maybe brilliant stars fusion strike all right so honestly not a bad pack selection obviously evolving skies really hot right now fusion strike still missing a bunch of cards out of it i mean plenty of chase cards espion gengar mew god genesect uh but yeah these do have evolving skies so i'm gonna break the other nine of these down and yeah we'll get to ripping all right, by the power of my magical editing skills, uh, got all of those, uh, 10 of those mini 10s broken down, and yeah, they all had Evolving Skies, one Evolving Skies pack in each 10, and then one uh, Fusion Strike. So Fusion Strike, Evolving Skies, and those C22 10s, and I didn't really show it when I opened that first one. It does, each 10 does come with a sweet uh, gold diamond looking uh, Raikou coin, so that's pretty cool. I got... I got 10 of these now, so I don't really know <laughs> what to do with it. I guess, what, Chuck E. Cheese or what takes those coins? I don't know, but, uh, oh, man, 20 packs, 10 Fusion, 10 Evolving Skies. I am not expecting much. Uh, if you know how Fusion Strike is with pull rates, it's abysmal. If you know how Evolving Skies is with the pull rates, it's diabolical. Uh, I'm just going to get right into it. No, I'm not going to waste any time. I just just gotta go, it's gotta go through it. I'm not gonna do any card trick, but uh, it's still kind of cool to see evolving skies and random products, you know, on the shelves. Uh, whether it's collection boxes, mini tins, Absol, lutely nothing, uh, non hollow. <laughs> uh, whether it's mini tins, collection boxes, uh, you know what? I think I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna rock Fusion Strike. Ten packs of Fusion Strike. Uh, even the Sam's Club uh, Tyranitar, like the heavy hitter boxes from Sam's Club, they have like two evolving sky packs in them. So they're, packs are findable, it's just whether or not you want to, Christ, uh, Asmeril, I did not pull Christ, I pulled an Asmeril. Whether or not you want to, you know, go out of your way to find that product for Evolving Skies, you know, that's completely up to you, but I want to say these mini tins, uh, Dollar General, I want to say Dollar General had these at one point, and I think it definitely had Evolving Skies in it because we did a video, oh god, it's, I don't know how long ago it's been, but, uh. Holographic Steelix, not too shabby. Uh, but, yeah, uh, Dollar General had some form of these mini tins. I had uh, Evolving Skies and another pack. I want to say it might have been Fusion Strike. But uh, my brother Brett, he uh, alt-arted me. He definitely pulled the Sylveon VMAX 
alt art from his Evolving Skies pack. So I'm kind of hoping for oh, some of that luck to rub off on me. These cards are really slick. Gramble, reverse all the... Oh, dog shit. <laughs> double dog. Double... Yeah, this double dogged area. Come on, Fusion Strike. Uh, again, I'd love to pull that Gengar VMAX, obviously. Espeon VMAX is like... Some of these cards have just been elusive. I don't get it. I mean, obviously, the pull rates for Fusion Strike is... Absolutely, like, not the greatest. Uh, but, man, it's... It's just all over the place. Gorbis, we actually might have a V, Cinderace V, not too shabby. Uh, it's a regular V, not going to put it on the board. Saving it for like a full art or better. I will put a full art uh, Cinderace, is that, oh, is that an actual full art? I'll pull a, uh, put a full art on the board, whether it's a trainer, Pokemon, gold, and obviously any gold, but regular Vs, unless it's like a really cool like regular V artwork that I really like, I'll throw it up there. Heliptile and Yveltal non-hollow. Come on. <laughs> Hopefully, we can just burn through these uh, non-hit fusion strike packs and save all of our luck for at least, I'm saying at least one Evolving Skies pack. There's got to be something in 10 of these packs. Some full art, something like... Hopefully, I've got plenty of alt art gold lurks. Berserker and Arcanine non-holographic. It's actually really nice Arcanine. There's some really nice, uh, like... Just artworks from these sets. Uh, Fusion Strike, you can find in just about any collection box. It's It's been printed into the dirt. But where the hits are, I have no I have no idea. Whether they're in booster boxes, but uh, it seems like the hits out of Fusion Strike are just almost non-existent for everybody. Not just me. Blissey, Corviknight. <laughs> so far, just one regular V and a hollow, what, Steelix? Out of these uh, Fusion Strike packs. So two packs of Fusion left to go. Come on, Gengar. Come on, Espeon. Come on, Mew. Mew VMAX Alt Art would be sick. Uh, Genesect. So many so many good cards out of uh, Fusion Strike. There's Chili, Cilantro, and Croissant. And a Chandelure VMAX. Hey, I'll throw a VMAX on the board. You know what? I'll even... I'll even sleeve the VMAX. Yeah, I'm one of them guys. Sometimes, depending on what kind of hits. If I don't get any hits, then uh, it's definitely something's got to go on the board. Because uh, it's, it's, this is a barren wasteland. Last pack of Fusion Strike. Evolving Skies. God damn it, do something good for me today. <laughs> I, I wanted to do a video. I didn't really know what to do. Uh, like, what, what content to really make. But then my brother kind of told me about these. And I just happened to find some at Walmart. They had a full display of them. Spent like 120 bucks, so hopefully, not really after making my money back. Hey, there's a uh, holographic Steelix again. Not really planning on making my money back, obviously, with the, just how the hit rates are with uh, Evolving Skies and Fusion Strike. But yeah, I, you're not gonna find it Evolving Skies any cheaper. Like you know, the Evolving Skies is anywhere from like eight to twelve dollars for a single pack. You imagine paying twelve dollars and pulling a non-holographic Wishy Washy. From evolving skies D i've done it i i've not afraid or not yeah not afraid to admit that that i paid 12 dollars for a random pack here and there and just pulled dog shit. <laughs> hopefully we can get something today come on come on evolving skies do be good to us today we have flying dragon oh hmm mm, interesting wow <laughs> why why is it always wishy-washy? God. Just talking about it. Just literally talking about it. That's 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 a troll job right there if I ever seen one. He's like, oh yeah, he's talking about me, bro. I'm gonna I'm gonna surprise him out of this first pack. Yikes. Come on. Come on, let's get some alt art. Some juicy lucky ice pop alt art. Altaria, alt hey, alt. I did pull an alt. Altaria. All right, I'm just going to stop talking about what I'm going to pull and just let the pack speak for itself because obviously talking about Wishy Washy uh, trolled me, then talking about getting an alt. Technically, I did get an alt, so yeah, this might just go silent for this next pack. Come on. Actually, I can't, I can't be silent. Teddy Ursa, Fragnall, Emolga, Melodic. Oh, did I make a mistake? Did I seriously just make a big... I mean, it's content. I like making this content, whether it's good or bad. 
But, uh, bro, this Chandelier VMAX can't, <laughs> he can't be up there all by himself. Come on. Uh, but yeah, again, you can find Evolving Sky Packs in almost every product. Or not every product, but they're out there. You know, you don't really find ETBs anymore. Dino and an Umbreon V. Hey, like I said, I'll throw a regular V on the board every now and again. Might give me some good luck. Umbreon V is what we're after. That's my chase card. And the Rayquaza. You know, my brother Brett's got both pulled three or both cards within three days. So yeah, I gotta I'm making up some time here. Not really time, just making up in general. This, it's, <laughs> this luck is not not happening. Hop it, bag on, and for the rare shift tree. Oh no, no. Hey, we still got a few packs. Gotta be optimistic. A few packs to go. Could I, I did shuffle these, so they're not in their corresponding tins that they came out of. I gave them a, a pretty hefty shuffle. So hopefully I shuffled the biggest hitter that I can get out of Evolving Skies to the uh, last few packs here. Rog and Roll, Flabebe, Drowsy. I actually do like that Drowsy. Full Face Guard, and for the rare, Dialga Hollow. Not the worst. <laughs> oh, Christ. Come on. We got four packs remaining. And we. Most of them are Rayquaza packs. Do I dare say we're going to pull another Wishy-Washy? It's almost guaranteed, right? Uh, the Ampharos. Really looking looking forward to that non-holographic Ampharos. Come on. Come on, Rock and Roll. It, 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 it's weird, too. Like, sometimes you do videos like these and you don't get any hits. Like, at the, you think about, like, do I even spend the time and effort making this into a video for people to watch? Rick weighs a V. Hey, we're getting some V hits, so... Not the, not the best opening, but certainly not the worst. It's going to be way worse than this. Come on. Yeah, you can still find these Evolving Sky Packs in like the three-pack window tins from Dollar General, like the Mimikyu, Snorlax, and... Uh, uh, God, what was I haven't opened one in forever. Mimikyu, Snorlax, and Darkrai. Jesus. Come on, we got to get an Altar here. Come on. Scraggy, Phoebus, Hitmonchan. Might have something... <laughs> oh, my God. Yep. All right, there's, there's a point that you get to it's like how many times can i pull the same card i'm at that point with the Rayquaza v come on uh, Rayquaza, bro you're better than a regular v show me that v max bro come on quit trolling me dude i i mean it's luck of the draw i don't know what else to say it beat you down though it <laughs> really yeah uh, yeah dino I'm, I'm i'm struggling here ribbon badge we got a gold full face guard gold. I actually do not have that. That is sick. So I think the it's not guaranteed that is a, awesome. Look at the texture on that. Spaceman, Starfield. Uh so like the when we opened these before, we bought that entire uh, display from Dollar General. And I think the K, the display hit, if it's even a thing, was the uh, Sylveon VMAX Altar. So that could be this secret rare full face guard uh, gold. Could be it. You know, you never really know. But that definitely helped out the video. I love gold cards. I love secret rares. Do not have that in my collection. Man, that's, that's actually really cool. I'm really digging that. I'm just going to leave it there. I could put it in the middle, but I don't want to move all them cards around but oh come on last pack uh i'm gonna i'm gonna be greedy but hey come on one more one more juicy hit come on I'm trying not to look around the edges of the card i don't like to cheat myself roughly i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh again if you see these tins in your walmarts that have the c22 on the bottom uh consider picking them up you know they buy one if they have like a whole display and you're not sure buy one go open it and then come back in and you know, possibly get the rest. <laughs> but it's Evolving Skies. It's always uh, it's always a fun rip. We have a Gordy, and for the last, uh, for a rare, we have... Yee. Yee. Stoutland, if you didn't see that.